Hi, my name is Michael. Welcome to my first video tutorial on Microsoft Excel 2010. Now, this video is going to take you through the basics of Microsoft Excel 2010. And in this tutorial, I'm going to use a sample table. We're going to create it actually. So let's come to the first cell. Now we're going to create a table of some fictitious people, you know, their first name, their last name, the telephone number, and their region where they stay. So I start with the first name, which is going to be my first first column, then last name, the telephone number, and region. Okay, if you notice in this first cell where I type the first name, you notice that the cell is not showing the entire content of what I typed. There's a way to fix that. You know, you come right to the border immediately after that row, that column, I mean, then right here where I've placed my mouse, you double click. Voila, it has done it. Now you also notice the same for this last name and telephone. Now to fix everything at the same time, you come right here, you click, then you come to any of the border lines and you double click. Voila, that has done it. So let's start with our first name. So I enter any name, say John. Then last name, Daniel. Telephone number. Now, for this, I'm going to show you a trick. In Nigeria here, the telephone number ranges for the mobile number starts with you know, the digit zero. Now, Excel has an issue with digit zero. If you type any number starting with a digit zero, it's going to cut off that your first your first digit, the zero. So let's say the phone number is zero eight zero six one one two five seven eight nine. If I click the go to the next cell you notice it has removed the zero before the the numbers okay there's a way to fix that all you have to do is you look for this single quotes the single apostrophe so you press it then you type your phone numbers zero eight zero six one one four five whatever voila to no longer cut off your first zero digits now region type Lagos now I'm going to create I'm going to create about 45 fictitious entries or 44 and luckily for us if you move to the next sheet I've already done that so like I showed you before if I want to see if I want the cells to show me all the entries in full without cutting off some very easy in the display you know I click here then I double click on any of the border lines so it does that and I'm going to show you how to include the border so to give a border to all this table you know I select all the entries I want the border line to be around then I come over here then I click here to see the extra border options I prefer this type of border so I click this voila it is done now there's another there's a keyboard shortcut to doing what I did so I'm going to undo this by pressing ctrl Z now to select all the entries is a keyboard shortcut you press Control. You hold the control, shift, and then you press the end key. It does that automatically for you. So now I can you know, come here right here and select the border type I want. Now, because this is going to be my header column, my header row, so I would like it to be in bold. So I make it in bold. Now, oh, I would like to include telephone numbers remember what I told you if you if your telephone number starts with the digit zero Excel is going to clip it off 
So the way to make Excel leave your your cell, leave your content the way you type it is by you know starting with the single apostrophe and then you type the phone numbers you want, whatever you want. Voila. Now you notice I have you know, I have if you look here, I have forty four entries. I'm not willing, I'm not ready to type 44 telephone numbers. So what am I going to do? I'm going to show you a very nice Excel trick. Okay, so now I want to create you know, numbers that say follow one another. Like say 080, oh sorry, let me include the apostrophe sign, 080, Five five four four two two. Then I want to start from one zero zero, and then I want the next one to be zero eight zero five five two four two two one zero one, and then continue like that till I get to one four four. So there's a way to do that easily. First of all, let me auto adjust this. So it shows me the entire content. Okay. So now I'll come right here. I can start with deleting this. Then I can also come here. I start with the one I want. But in this case, let's let's say I want to start with one one. Okay. Now if I want to I will okay. Let's come here and do one too, so you'll be able to get what I want to do. Okay, now, okay, I'll drag this to drag what is here to make it duplicate here without copying and pasting. I can simply just drag like this, it will do that for me. Okay, not bad. It has automatically in, um, increased the number. Okay, so that will do anyway. So I can come right back here and type the entire number I want mm. or come right here and just drag oh it didn't work I will have to stick to what I want to do before okay so I remove this then I'll here is what I want to do. I want if I if I drag this, it's going to auto increase for me. Okay, so that is done. So I want to automatically add these two last digits to this particular number. So how do I do that? I use the special function called concatenate. So concat if I press the, you will notice that it has already been highlighted for me by Microsoft Excel. So if I press the tab key, it will automatically complete the typing for me. So I choose the first text. In this case, is this. Then I choose the next text. So I press the click on comma. Then I, I do this. I select this. Then I can close the brackets. Voila, that is done. So now. What I can do is I'll copy this, huh? Then I'll paste it in all these cells. Now to do that, I'm going to show you a keyboard shortcut. Okay, you press Ctrl V to do that for you. So now I can click this to auto adjust that cell, that column width. Now. If I want to do, I want this, what I did here, is concatenate you know, of this cell with this content, this cell's content. I want it to automatically be redone for all these other, all these other cells. There's a simple way to do that. I just come here, you know, position my mouse, pon mouse pointer until it shows this this black cross sign and then I double click voila it is done so you can see it has done 
the entire stuff for me so I'll come right here and I'll paste now you notice as I pasted it's showing me something else it's showing me John Samuel I can fix that automatically because what it did was it copied the formula for me but what I wanted to do is if I wanted to copy just the values so I'll come here then I'll tell it you know paste values that's what I want paste values voila so values have been pasted so I can safely come you know and delete everything here now to delete everything here I can just you know I liked all these columns and then I press the delete key so that is done okay so now I have a sample database of telephone numbers name first name last name state now there might you might want to sort so let's say you want to sort by first name it's very easy in Microsoft Excel 2010 you can just from this home tab which is your default tab you move your mouse to the extreme right and you see sort and filter so you click on this and then you come to custom sorts custom sorts then now make sure that this thing is ticked my data has headers so that way it will it will recognize the first row as the header row so now you come here and you sort by whatever you want to sort by if I want to sort by a first name I choose this first name then whatever order I want it to be I want it to be from the alphabet A to Z or if I want it from Z to A A to Z is cool so I'll leave it as that voila it has, sort, it has sorted everything for me and you know what it sorted them by entry it didn't just sort this this column alone it sorted everything so such that this Ademola was sorted with this last name telephone number and state so that way you don't get to you don't get to disarrange your entries okay now let's check again come back to custom sorts let's sort now by region or states I type states here okay from A to Z like I did before you notice it has done this alphabetical order for me you can see everything arranged by states now there is another trick you can sort by more than just one category more than one, just one field header so okay I'll come back to this sort and filter click on custom sort now let's say I want to sort by by states then after sorting by state, I want to sort by say by first name. So I'll add another level. Sort by state first, then come here, sort by first name, A to Z. Voila. So it's going to sort by states, then alphabetically by first name also too. Okay. So what if you just want to see only people from these states? That is easy. Just come here. And instead you choose filter voila so once you choose filter I can come here you know, to bring a drop-down list I select only the states I want to see so how do I do that I deselect this selector and I make sure it's only the state I want to see that is ticked in this case Abia click OK voila it's showing me only those entries for these states also I can do likewise for other states and if you want to see for more than one state just select only the states you want to see in this case if I've selected say three states now voila showing for only those three states and still the sort is still there you know alphabetical order alphabetical order of state name alphabetical order of first name okay so if I want to remove that I just come right back here and click this filter voila it has been removed so now that's the end of our first lesson in Microsoft Excel 2010 join me again for the next video tutorial